Bingo. Hello, it's Kayla from Pingua. Welcome to episode 10 in our Scratch Basics series. This episode will take you through the steps of coding your backdrop to change. Let's begin. Choose a sprite and two backdrops for your project that you want to code to switch on the stage. For this episode, I have selected the rocket ship sprite, stars backdrop, and the moon backdrop. Also, I have already coded my rocket ship sprite to switch costumes so that it appears as though it is rotating through space. Once you have selected your two backdrops, click on the image of the backdrop below the stage to the right of the code area. This will allow you to code your backdrop. Next, check to make sure that both backdrops you have selected are available to use. To do this, click on the Backdrops tab just above the block palette to the left of your code area. You will see all selected backdrops to the left of your screen in the Backdrops Paint Editor. Next, we want to code our backdrop to change. To do this, go back to the Code tab in the top left corner above the block palette. Click and drag a When Green Flag Clicks block from the Events category onto your code area. This will tell your code to run when the green flag above the stage is clicked or when the block itself is clicked in the code area. Next, we want to click and drag a Switch Backdrop 2 block from the Looks category in the block palette onto your code area. Attach this block to the When Green Flag Clicked block. Use the drop down menu to select which backdrop you want your code to begin with every time. For this episode, I'm going to select the stars backdrop. Next, click and drag a wait one seconds block from the control category onto your code area and attach it to the switch backdrop to block. You can change the number inside the white bubble by clicking on it and typing the number of seconds you wish your backdrop to run for. For this episode, I have set the seconds to three because I want my stars backdrop to show for three seconds before it switches to the next backdrop. Next, we want to click and drag a second switch backdrop to block onto our code area and attach it to the wait three seconds block. Again, using the drop down menu, you're going to select which backdrop you want your code to switch to after the first backdrop and wait block. For this episode, I selected the moon backdrop to be the second backdrop in this code. Next, test your code. Click on the green flag above the stage or click on the green flag block in your code area. Can you use the sprite and two backdrops to retell a story or event that has happened? As an example, for this episode, I might tell a story about the first time humans touched down on the moon. I could provide facts by coding the rocket ship to talk or I could add a second sprite that uses either the record voice option or speech bubble option to tell us all about the first landing. This is the end of episode 10 in our Scratch Basic series. Be sure to follow us on social media and sign up for our newsletter to receive updates on other online lessons, activities, tutorials, and more. Thanks for watching.